Hey there guys, so Jim Free here and welcome back to part two. Whew, okay. So uh there's a cat, the housekeeper cat. Alright, so if you remember last time we actually did the uh uh basic tutorial. Well effectively uh you know this gallery and all that stuff, uh download the content, uh but there is none of it currently. Alright, so Okay, so it doesn't look like we can actually deploy our cat yet. Uh, right, so... That's a quite a shame, because, you know, I want to have my cat around. So, uh, there's this person who's to deal with good, uh, guild cards, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, he's more street pass based. Ooh. Well, I won't deal with that now because obviously, uh, you know, it's not a thing. But right, so if I remember correctly, just just thinking about it uh, off the top of my head, this guy is where you buy armor and weapons from. Yeah, I'm just right then. Yeah, so that's where you buy all your stuff. Uh, the things that you've uh, got, and this guy is more based on upgrading, which is the main thing you're gonna be doing. Because Mazda is effectively a grind fest, which you know, like that most people do pit, get put off about uh, in Mazda, and I, you know, fully understand. Right, so uh, we can forge weapons, we can forge armor. Now I'm just going to show what it's like uh, for things. So, right, so there's the match slices and the bone size. Um, right, so these are. Uh, weapons you can get, and you need these uh, materials here. As you see, this has got macalite ore and earth crystals. These are two materials that you're going to need to be able to allow to forge it. Okay. Then, if you go to forge armor, it works the exact same way. Upgrade equipment, though, is something that's very important to this game. For example, I want to go to match slices plus because I'm a dual blader. So I need my two iron ore. I need my three earth crystals. And I'm going to need some glug. Uh, glue hopper, gloppers, I don't know. A, a basically type of bug in the game. So, because of that, we're going to have to go some a little bit of grinding there. But, obviously, uh, we'll do that as things come through. Alright, so we've got the uh, guild person. Uh, this is basically your quest system. The quest system is very important because that's how you progress through the game. Right. So, we, as you see, there's a star. Right. So it's, basically, this game is split into hunter ranks. The there's a there's the first version, which is the um, basically what we have here is low rank, right? And then there's a high rank, and then there's a G rank, which is exclusive to online. I will be covering all three for uh, for online and offline, which is going to be fun. Okay, so I got a voucher. Nice. A voucher effective works in the sense that you, you so you start to eat. Uh, right, so uh, you get fresh food and non-fresh food. And just say that you want to have all fresh food, then you will use a voucher. But the good thing is, for online, if you use a voucher, everyone gets it as well. So that's a good way. If someone has a lot of vouchers, they can, they can get. Uh, I guess if they don't, you know, let's say I don't have a voucher. Say, I'm partnering with you guys, you guys have a voucher, and this one guy has one, then we all get to eat good food, which is a good thing in my book. Because I like food. Especially since it does give you better, well, most likely to get the better effects. Alright, so we've got a map, we've got our first aid meds, we've got our rations, we got got stones, and we got portable spit, and torch. Which no one really does take, but I'm going to take it anyway to show the gist of it. Right, so, sort of everything. Right. So, if I'm holding the L button and then pressing Y, you can scroll. And let's use the Y button, we've got a torch. Uh, I think it's to get rid of bugs or, or something. I don't know. I just never used it. Right. Waystone is to sharpen your weapon. Power spit is effectively a spit thing that you use to cook 
and we've got our rations which is going to increase our stamina which is nice and uh, first aid meds obviously like potions which uh, you can make potions via uh, herbs and blue mushrooms uh, for example I, f I do get it but you see that we've got a herb now most people will be like oh let's just do the quest well guys I'm going to be honest with you don't do that or, well, you can if you want well I don't recommend it I recommend exploring and getting herbs and here is why okay herbs and blue mushrooms are what you need to actually make potions and potions obviously need to kind of just maybe survive a little so I recommend going through and getting as many herbs as you possibly can uh, we have about um, 10 at the moment so I'm just kind of collecting the useless herbs which is you know basically just do hunts and get and and every time you get a chance to on the lower time anyway before you get to hunt rank 3 and get potions and buy them you actually I really highly recommend doing that and, and, and that's the main gist you know you want to try and get uh, potions as good as you can and then add honey into the mix and you can make mega potions so good stuff Alright, so let's run. Do 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 do. Oh, they're not phased by it. Crazy. Right, so let's go. Demon Dance is a very very nice thing. Uh, it's quite nice uh, because obviously you do that double damage, and you you know swords kind of just go glow red, so it looks badass. Right. So you can get something from here called um, no apparently Monster Bone Essence, but you can also get uh, raw meat. Well, apparently this guy just wants the bonuses. Uh, apparently it's not made of meat, guys. Kind of, kind of weird. There we go, some raw meat. Right. Now, I'm just going to carve all three. You kind of want to get as much raw meat as you can. Uh, main reason is because, obviously, yeah, you're doing this for a quest. But you kind of want to have some for yourself. And um, yeah, I mean, in the end, you're gonna have to kind of have board on stakes. Board on stakes are effectively huge, massive. Um, they're really good for. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, Alright, so we gotta get world on and a rare. Okay. Um, but they're basically the best way to, uh, you know, gain stamina. Alright, says so we need a rare steak. And now I'll get a good one. Indeed. And, uh, yeah, why not? We'll just cook one more while done. Oh, we burnt it. <laughs> Fail. Uh, yeah. I'd normally get grind off meat for them. Oh, let's see it. Oh, oh, jeez. What was I thinking? Now, yeah, I actually, you know, honestly, though, that is a side effect. Uh, you can, it actually can, uh, give you stamina as much as a ration does. However, sometimes, as you've seen, it can take away your stamina, and that's no good.
All right, so let's deliver it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, go. Rest steak delivered. Oh, okay, so it was either ear or okay. G guys, I have a ward on. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, I'm gonna say just keep a ward on steak. It's better. One thing I do love about Monsanto though is the music. I have to say, music for Monsanto has always been good. Or at least the games I've played, which this and the other. Alright. Yes, indeed, I would like to save my game. Unless this gets corrupted, and if it does, then damn. <laughs> Touch wood, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Okay. So before we go uh, continue on requesting, I'm actually going to switch now to the insect rod. Uh, equipment, uh, manage equipment, uh, insect rod, they are. More because I just want to keep uh, some form of variety. Obviously, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna really stick to a weapon for obvious reasons. It's kind of, you know. You kind of want to, uh, kind of want to keep some variation. It's quite nice to do as well. I don't, I don't enjoy um, what's on the flavors too much. Well, um, well, I, I don't mind when they do do mixing up and stuff. It's just at the beginning I like it when they mix up a lot more. Okay, so we need to deliver one mega potion, and sub quest is slay three jaggy. Uh, effectively, sub quests are. I think new in this game, uh, and effectively it means more money. <laughs> I think you get more items too, but I'm not entirely sure on that part. But I know it's more money. All right. So let's get everything. I do, have to say, I do love this weapon, it is very glorious. Right, so we actually kind of did the herbs collecting uh, off screen, if you do remember. Well, off screen, wait, what am I remember about off screen? But anyway, you know, as you can clearly tell, I mean, it was last quest. Boom. Okay, so since we've already done that, there's kind of no point. Oh, we quit complaining. I guess he wants me to actually go and get a herb, even though I've got herbs. Fine, I'll do it. Yeah, but my herbs are at maximum, though. So I can't just waste the herb, guys. Also, you should have some rations. Hey, as you can see on the uh, there's a, that little blade thing. That's your sharpness. And uh, as you can see, it's green for this, but it was a uh, yellowish color for the door blades. Uh, yeah, for some reason, um, they tend to have some different sharpness at the start. Normally, most of them in the other game was quite pretty much yellow uh, all the time. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Alright, come on. Let's see if we can do it separately. Whoa. Right, so she get a blue mushroom. Right. So now they see they're telling us, okay, now we need want to combine. So I'll just show this off now. Alright, so we're going to take a herb. Take a blue mushroom and combine it, and we're gonna get a potion. Alright. 
Yeah, I'll create another. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get, uh, well, aim to at least get eight, uh, eight um, blue mushrooms. And the reason being is because, well, actually, what are we going to not, well, what are we actually going to get an extra two more? You know, something, I don't know. Maybe what I might do, I don't know if I want to. Because this would make that quest, this quest, uh, extra long than I would normally do it, but it's a good idea to when you when you can. Or oh, I might do it off screen actually. Um, not sure, but let's do do that. Okay. And now I just get more blue mushrooms. And I'll try and aim for full ten. But yeah, the, the start of Monster Hunter is kind of slow. You know, you are gathering a lot, which is um, I guess kind of some people enjoy that part to the game. Maybe I mean I've I've never really been bored about it. I've always had to do it uh, because you know it kind of makes sense too. Okay, just three more. But uh, yeah, it is a very important part to the game. And now herbs are a thing. Uh, we're gonna probably get like eleven honey fish. Uh, now honey is. You can actually normally find honey in the first area, but I think they're just not there for this round, obviously, because, um, they, well, they're trying to get us to kind of move around. Yeah. Whoa. Go, bug, go. Right, here we go. Jaggy. Yeah, so this is explaining the sub quest. Right. Let's uh, carve these jaggies. Oh, up oh, oh, those. No, oh, I couldn't carve any of them. Okay, they've died to speed. Right. Basically, uh, jaggies are obviously it's a type of armor. Right. So let's create that with honey and boom mega now I think in this version of the game uh, or I should say this level pretty much it says 90% or 95% but really it's more like 100% I don't think you can get unlucky in this level now obviously don't quote me on that exactly, I could be wrong. Uh, right. So I want three more. And yeah, I'm just going for basically ten potions and uh, ten megas, which is going to be helpful. And then off screen... I'll possibly go and do some uh, more of that. And, um, oh, blue mushroom. And, oh, we haven't got a hope shot actually. 
Uh, dirt. So actually, I'm probably going to take about some more honey. Actually, I'm probably going to try and get a stock of honey. Uh, and actually, the reason being is now I don't know if this is in this game, but if it is still in it, then it's kind of a good thing. Uh, there's something called cultivating, and it was uh, basically I'm assuming it's been for all the games. The main gist of it is you give uh, some. I know you you give like let's say honey. And then it's gonna make more honey. So until I, I don't know if we ever, I even have access to that yet, but uh, you know, add just two more till we uh, reach max. Right. And now let's go and get some of those herbs. And so this uh, second episode is very very. Dull, I guess. Uh, like I did say, it said you're going to be around 20 mark, and it's actually 21 minutes. Uh, to be fair, though, this is uh, it is my fault, obviously. Um, yeah, kind of going on the grinding. That's kind of uh, typical. But though Monsanto fashion is really kind of you have to, well, you don't have to do it, but it is highly recommended that you do do a lot of gathering. Gathering is, I mean, if you, if I mean, think about it. If you don't actually have the possibility of making any potions, you kind of screw yourself over. Oh, also, that plant doesn't always have the opportunity to drop herbs. And actually, I think you can also buy herbs as well, but you can't buy blue mushrooms. No, either way. Hold on. Um, okay, just two more. Anyway, we'll only have uh, one. I do will have nine mega potions after this because uh just how it is. Uh combine. There we go. And there we go. Alright guys, the quest is finally done. Actually what we've done way before it was needed to be done, it was just more uh Mons on the type thing. Alright. I could technically could combine if I actually had any of the other stuff, but I'm not too bothered. Actually, I can technically just do it. Well, let me. Done. Now I have nine potions, which is kind of okay. But, uh, yeah. Time to nap on the way back, yo. Aww, oh, you got up. I always like to try and uh, time it. Aha, we've gotten to a point I definitely want to talk about here. Uh, nectar, well, basically power nectar, and then there's fire. Right, so there's different elements for the bug, and generally, if you get them, it can change your bug's element. So you can make it a fire bug, you can make it an ice bug, I don't know. Uh, other elements, thunder bug. I think. But it's actually called, it'll be called lightning bug, I think. But thunder bug's actually an actual bug you can get. Uh, i trying to think. Price uh, bug? I don't know. Yeah, basically the different status elements. Yeah, I got your mega potion. Uh, right, so now it's basically just explaining about online multiplayer and pretty much just a gist. Right. Now, just going to switch weapon again. Uh, manage equipment. Charge blade. Uh, it's for the elite blade here, but it's basically just a charge blade. Hey, Muso!
just talking about the uh, Palico board, which basically for uh, obviously deploying and taking the cats with us, which is cool. Alright, so deploy. I'm surprised why I can't select that but like, oh, okay. Maybe that was selecting it, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> How you cleared that all up so quickly, jeez. Okay. So, uh, oh, it's 26 minutes. Uh, probably ending it here then. I'm just going to explain this quickly. As you can see, there's a tick now, meaning we've gone that, and we're on to two star, which is a lot more difficult stuff. Uh, though, there is another type of quest I do want to talk about briefly. Um, basically, it teaches you how to use specific weapons where you just fight on a great jaggy. Uh, I am going to show that off in the next episode. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please consider uh, liking, subscribing, leaving a helpful comment or do and uh, yeah hopefully you'll stay on for the future and yeah definitely please consider subscribing that'd be quite nice and uh, yeah catch you guys later